Come on. You guys get ready? It. You guys ready? Yeah. Everybody got their antiperspirants on? We're good? Okay. All right, let's go. Game number one. Beastly going up against Radish King. And that's Radish King with, oh, Isabel DDD. Isabel uh, this, okay. this can be tough. You don't really want to go for Gorlito too much from like long distance because as soon as Isabel pockets that, it can be imminent death. Yes, it is crazy strong. Also, Isabel's neutral air, I know she's like obviously like very much a low tier, but her neutral air in a vacuum is Ooh. really, really good. And it's going to be really good about swatting those uh, Gordos back. But I will say, Beastly's already just like playing DDD well. Down to the Florida, you know, a lot of like neutral air into up tilts. Mm -hmm. Definitely has like the D, uh, the DDD B and Bs. Oh my god, that was like a lot of E sounds. The DDD B and Bs, I like that. Definitely sounded like a like Eminem parody bars right there. <laughs> D D B and B's, cinnamon skin, you know all that kind of stuff. Anyway, no, uh, go I think on, <laughs> go on, keep spinning up that bugs. I'm live fully done. I'm fully done 5, with that. Five thousand people do it. Oh, that many? I'm sorry, y'all. Anyway, <laughs> so I think what's happening here is that Radish King is playing like an uh. up close and personal game against D D D, but like Isabel shines at her, you know, with her zoning, so you don't really have to do this. However, that uh, hydrant to uh, up air was really strong. That was a really smart play right there. Okay, oh, nice little swat away on the Guido. Just like, you know what? Hey, I'm playing tennis over here. Wow. Get out of there. And what a side be Able to get the pickup, able to get the kill. And now that is going to be Radish King with a single stock lead. But it is Isabel. It is DDD. Nice. And it takes one little swat to send that dog back into the pound. Yeah, Isabel, of course, distance-wise, has a great recovery, but it's really exploitable. And somebody with uh, DDD's air movement is definitely going to be able to come out there and just, like, shut her down. Okay, nice. We're seeing some DDD strings falling up there to up tilt. Or falling there to up tilt. That was smart. Okay, but finally lands with that slingshot. Okay, getting three of those hits. Backing off a little bit. Gets that Lloyd free, like the space coverage. Keeps on landing those slingshots. And oh remember, inhales a reflector. DDD takes that pellet, tastes it, and then spits it back mm -hmm. at you with uh, a little bit more kick than it first had. Like he's trying to macro, like, mm, no, I don't like that. Mm -mm. That's not a good flavor. I don't like pistachio. Uh, this is definitely one of the most aggressive Isabels I've ever seen. Like, Radish King is fully just in Beastly's face right now. Can you imagine just like showing up to a restaurant and hating the food so much that you like spit it back at the <laughs> chef? He's spitting it out. Whatever Isabel was cooking, not good enough. <laughs> not for not the ready. DVD's gourmet palate. Now that back throw almost did it. I'm still a little bit shook that the uh, side view killed earlier. Like I know the vertical uh, version of that isn't bad, but like DD so heavy. But, yep. Man, it really hard killed there. He is. Yeah, he, he is definitely heavy, unless, like, Isabel gets, like, a sweet spot of, like, back mm -hmm. close to the ledge. Really, like, some sort of a ledge trap where you, like, a side B. You, you're not killing, no. you know? No, 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 no. All right, fully trapped in the corner. Got the uh, uh, Lloyd Rocket trapped in the ground, throwing those slingshots, making it really tough. And going to get the falling up air out of disadvantage. Beastly going to go down another stock. Of course, we did see Radish lose that stock really early. I want to say, like, 90-ish, sub 100, pretty much. So uh, Beastly's not out of this yet. Yeah, no, not at all. Okay, dashes in, able to get in. <gasps> Good wait. What a wait. Really, really crucial board air right there. Had Beastly run out. That could have uh, evened things back up here. And great Ooh. patience. Drifting down below the slingshot, which is going to uh, sneak that forward air in once again around 100-ish and evening things back up. Okay, little up tilt into the up air. Really good damage. Okay, falling neutral air. I like it. That up tilt is actually a pretty solid kill confirm. Or not kill confirm, pretty solid uh, combo yep. starter, excuse me. Uh, especially against a character as big as Dedede. And now you know what, Beast, uh, Radish King did a really good job of just keeping Beastly out. But oh, drag down up here. That is uh, fake. Good DI. And <laughs> actually fake. crossing up Dedede as uh, Beastly jumps in a little bit too much to the left. All right, kind of trapped on this platform. Getting sharked by Beastly pretty hard. Ooh, ooh and sneaking that back air in out of nowhere. The game had to, like, think about that one. That was, like, so much hit lag. I was yeah. like, eh, what's up, Doc? I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, they literally just like, what, what are we doing with this? What, what, what's going down? But, uh, yeah, totally even in percent here. Uh, we're seeing some pocketed, more Gordos. Please. Yeah, we haven't seen any of the uh, pocketing come out of this. We uh, saw it get reflected with forward air, but that's not what makes it so scary. If you pocket that Gordo, you can kill DDD at, like, 70. You know, it's oh, beastly popping off, getting that untackable up in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was a hard situation because, like, you don't really know where to DI it. It was so close to the corner, I couldn't really predict if it was going to go into the stage or if it was just going to go midair. But it sent into the stage at a horrible angle. Even had Isabel not been to that percent, yeah. that would have been a rough one. I will say between the two, I just feel like ultimately Beastly was able to take stocks a little bit sooner. Isabel can be tricky to kill with, even if it's like somebody that wish you main. Now imagine not playing Isabel and having to kill with Isabel. Eh, not a good time. Yeah. But game two, Dark Pit going up against Inkling. Oh my god. All and right. Yo. 
see, I'm seeing some combos already. Uh, how do you how do you feel about Dark Pit, Dara? G give, me, give me the tea, spill. He's fine. He's always gonna yeah. be okay. Right? Pit is always just gonna be like, yeah, I guess I guess he's like good. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit lackluster. He doesn't cheat, so that doesn't make him a high two. I believe high two and ultimate can cheat. Yeah, that's true. No cheater moves on Dark Pit. At first, I remember like the very first week of the game, we're seeing side and you're like, hey yo, what is this? Nerf it? And then it's like, oh no, it's fine. Yeah, it's Not like you're getting hit by side B, that's kind of on you, dog. That's on you, yeah. You're getting hit by like, you know, worse banjo side B, worse minecart. But none of that matters because that aggressive edge guard uh, from Beasley is gonna you know, give him the first stock. Yeah, when you got those like multi jumps Ooh. off stage, you can just sort of like stall a little bit, you can like delay and just like wait for the opponent to come to you. But yo, Beasley Bro. <laughs> Beastly going beast mode. Yo, Beasley, chill! Doing some crazy combos. We're seeing some drag downs. We're seeing the re-grabs. Uh, Radish King is really, really looking uh, a little shaken up right now. A little bit shook. Rolls in, doesn't get it. Fantastic. A little bit of a whiff punish. Getting all of these down throws into the down. -out. Yo, Beasley knows what he's doing. Yeah, Beasley might have some, some knowledge. Either he has some knowledge of this character, or like maybe these pit combos are easier than we thought they were. Because uh, going for a sour spot dare and an up air was really smart. I, I like how he's playing it. Okay, how's he make it back onto the stage? Just jumping a little bit. That was the original gimmick. Before, oh, before yeah. the slingshot. Anytime you would get like a footstool over somebody's up and yo gimmer. Mm -hmm. Yep, yo gimmer. Yep, and then we, we were like, maybe this will pop off in the meta, but it didn't. But beautiful drop down fair from Radish King is going to stop BC from oversitting there. But down throw up air, if you don't know how to DI it, I don't know if it's true or not, but it definitely was true right there. Okay, makes it back onto the ledge. Ooh. And there it is, the pit down smash. He yells, you really know what's coming. It has no end lag. And F2 F should be able to kill on Town and City. Yep, that is one of Pit's kill throws. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm actually surprised the down smash didn't kill, but of course the F3 is gonna F3 is gonna come in and clean up the uh, damage in the middle. Uh, one thing you can do if you're like just starting off with an inkling, jab is just really powerful. Jab is such a powerful tool in this character. Like, you don't really have to know a ton about him Definitely. to know that like being able to rack up damage and is relatively quick and safe on shield. It's, uh, it's really good. So we can see some more jabs from Radish King possibly, but right now he's kind of in the dark pit blender, just really getting tagged by all these like falling aerials from uh, Beastly. Yeah. Okay, dashes in, dashes Ooh, back in, parries. two consecutive parries too. But okay, Radish King now finally coming alive a little bit. Tries to control space with the down B, but alas, Pit's own like down B just like able to invalidate that as like an option altogether. Dara, we are seeing some real dark pit combos. I'm shook, <laughs> I really don't know how else to call it. This is getting crazy. They're like, wow, you have like damage output. Uh oh. Oh, you don't have to just go for neutral wins and randoms. That's when you're like in trouble. Yeah. Ooh, speaking of trouble, being sent under the middle of the stage. That is a situation that Inkling can maybe recover from, but you have to be an experienced Inkling player to know how to like use the side B and use that extra jump and kind of like. You have to like to get there. jump side B. I think you might still be able to like jump out of the side B. And then uh, up B. But I think that's the only thing. But the issue is because of like how fast you descend down, you might not have enough time to jump out of the side B and cancel it. Yeah, but uh, very well played from uh, uh, BC on that one. So now we're seeing Corn versus Greninja. Now, again, this is definitely one of the most bizarre matchups. I, there's so many characters in this game, and after all my years of casting, I don't think I've ever seen this happen. Yeah. Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh and the wave land on the platform after the taunt too. The ultimate classic, the special, the, the, the cherry on top. All right, well, Beastly's in grand. Uh, congratulations to Beastly. Uh, very well played what? stuff. Um, what is shame. happening? Uh, Radish King is Shattuck getting Hoo. sent to lose bracket. Who? Oh, <laughs> Yo, Shattuck who, right. All right, fight back, Radish King. So um, that was a really explosive corner combo, uh, especially with the upbeat to kill off the top so early. Now, Greninja on paper has, you know, great frame data, can certainly outmaneuver this character and get a lot of conditioning going if you're okay. going to remain. But he is not what I would call a pick up and play character either by any means. Yeah. Okay, just goes for the side, he jumps out of it, lands neutrally into the up air. Okay. So yeah, so congratulations to Beastly once again. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now. Uh, Radish King, you make this comeback, I'll give you twenty dollars on my pocket right now. But it is twenty dollars really just goes to Radish King. Straight to him. Like that's it. You you believed it, buddy. Mm -hmm. You got it. All right, getting the falling forward air, trying to get some pressure going with the water shuriken, trying to make something and the happen. And high up B two, just calling out Radish King sitting on the platform. Uh oh, just go for maybe like a jab mix up. That's not gonna connect at that point. A little bit too high percent. Lands with the down air, and Radish King not able to get the up air. Nice. Finally gets that F smash, gets that stock off. But the question is. Is it too late? I don't know. I mean, Beastly's advantage state with Corrin is, like, shockingly good. 
Yeah. Like, it's never just, like, one or two straight hits. It's, it's like, full strings that we're seeing. I will say, though, like, Greninja is, like, a little bit, like, easy to combo. He has, like, a fantastic way to just, like, keep on hitting. Mm -hmm. All right, we're seeing some up tilt to uh, up air. We're actually seeing Radish King do a really good job of punishing BC's landing. Do I owe Radish King $20 now? What's happening? Okay, little foil, a little up here as well. Good amount of damage onto the void. Maybe looking for like a side V2 flame. Does not get it. Wait, Ooh. back in. Big hitbox, generous hitbox. Spaces itself. That is going to be a 3-0. Yeah. BC 